Hello everybody. In this video I'll be showing you how to use my online bicycle transmission calculator and comparator, that is available in Romanian and English. The link to it can be found in the below description. First of all I should mention that, unlike the car's engine, the human body can't develop constant pedal pushing force all the time, so, we can't take into consideration the generated torque curve graph. What we can do is follow the force applied on the pedals travel through the transmission to the wheel circumference. In other words, follow how much from the rider's force applied on the pedals ends up as traction force. In order to do that, we must look at the y-axis of the graphs in which the force's coefficient can be found. Near it, in parentheses, the number of teeth of the chain gear transmission can be seen. This coefficient is the value with which the downforce on the pedals is being multiplied to result the force applied at the wheel circumference, without considering the losses from transmission, bearings, and tires. In graph number 1, the rotational speed of the pedals, measured in RPM, can be found on x-axis. In graph number 2, the speed of the bike, in kilometers per hour, can be found also on x-axis. Depending on your desire, on going with a certain RPM or speed, you can choose to analyze first or second graph. I'll be explaining both graphs, starting with the first of them, which shows all the gear combinations under the form of horizontal lines, colored in black for the small pedal plate wheel, violet for the middle pedal plate wheel and red for the biggest pedal plate wheel. Each of these lines are positioned, on y-axis, at the correspondent value of the forces coefficient. On these horizontal lines you can see five reference points, light blue triangle, light green square, dark green diamond, brown cross and dark blue circle. These points represent the speed mentioned in the legend, that is obtained on each of the gear combinations at a certain RPM. Depending on your desire, you can change the values of these points of reference, as well as the graph's height and highlighted interval of RPM. Let's say we want to analyze the 70 to 80 RPM interval of pedal rotational speed at the speeds of 20, 25, and 30 km per hour, the other values of 70 and 80 km per hour in this graph will be used as RPM in the second graph. As we can see in the highlighted area, by using each of the horizontal lines, or gear ratios, that have a light blue point on it, we can ride with 20 km per hour. In a similar way, we identify the gear ratios with which we can ride at 25 and 30 km per hour. We can also click on each of the points to see the RPM, speed, and the forces coefficient values. In order to choose the most efficient gear ratio, we must choose the highest value for the forces coefficient from the highlighted area, corresponding with the speed at which we want to ride. For example, in this case, to ride at 30 km per hour, with 70 to 80 RPM interval, we choose 39 and 13 teeth gear ratio. Now let's take a look at the second graph. The only two differences here, in comparison with the first graph, are that RPM is speed and speed is RPM. In a similar way, we choose the speed interval, or highlighted area of 29 to 31 km per hour. From this area, for 80 RPM, we choose the dark blue circle point that is highest in the graph at 30 km per hour, and that corresponds also with 39 and 13 teeth gear ratio. In a similar way you can input your bike's transmission details into the online calculator and start analyzing by yourself. For more videos check out my YouTube channel.